How do scientists use big data to uncover the genes associated with cancer? Why have malaria deaths dropped from one million to half a million in the last seven years? Biostatisticians have the skills to probe data to find solutions to these and many more complex problems. Statistics is all about communication. Seeing changes in health policy as a result of my work is really exciting. Biostatistics gives you a toolkit you can apply to complex problems. Biostatistics has worked for me. It's such a great combination. On the one hand, you're a bit of a geek. You're working with computers and with data. On the other hand, we're always working with people. Our work really does help to improve, even save lives. And I've seen this myself here at the Children's Hospital. What I love about biostatistics is bringing theory into practice. In one of our cohort studies, colleagues were asking, can we use skin prick test results in infants to predict the risk of food allergy? And I thought, hey, we can do that with a two-level logistic regression model. Being a biostatistician is a way of experiencing the different areas of medicine without being a medical doctor. In my hospital work, there's a quick translation of research into practice, and that's really satisfying. The work we do on vaccines has major outcomes globally. We have collaborators around the world, Vietnam, Mongolia, the Gambia, so the travel opportunities are great. I've worked in Southeast Asia, improving the treatment of malaria. No two days are the same. It's the diversity of the job that I love. After just 18 months of study, you too can join the data revolution and improve the population's health. You can walk straight into a job and work anywhere in the world. <laughs>